Today, I am going to show you a visual proof of sine of A plus B and cause of A plus B. You might have seen these formulas before and felt they were a bit magical or too complicated to calculate algebraically, but today I will show you how to find these formulas, but using simple right triangles. Just to recap, we know that in a right-angled triangle, if this is angle theta, then this side is called the opposite side. This is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. Then sine of angle theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, and cause of angle theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can also rewrite this as opposite equals hypotenuse times sine theta, and adjacent equals hypotenuse times cos theta. Now draw a rectangle like this of unknown side lengths, such that inside this rectangle, when you draw a right-angled triangle whose one vertex is this, then one lies on this side of the rectangle and one on this side, then its hypotenuse, or this side, is of length one unit, then this angle is A and this angle is B. Now look here. This side is adjacent to angle B, and thus its length will be equal to cos of B, times hypotenuse, or 1, which is cos b, and this side is opposite to angle b, and thus its length will be equal to sine of b, times hypotenuse, or sine b, right? Now since this is a rectangle, therefore all these four angles will be right angles. So now consider this right angle. This side is adjacent to angle a, and thus its length will be equal to cos a times hypotenuse of this right triangle, which is cos b. So this side length will be equal to cos a times cos b. Similarly, the opposite or this side length will be equal to sine a times cos b. Now notice carefully, if this is angle a, then this angle will be equal to 90 minus a, right? Now consider this straight line. If we add up all these three angles, then their sum must be equal to 180 degrees. So, 90 minus A plus 90 plus this angle, say X equals 180. This gives us X equals A, which means this angle is equal to A. Now focus on this right triangle. This side is adjacent to angle A, and thus its length will be equal to cos A times hypotenuse of this right triangle, which is sine b. So this side length will be equal to cos a times sine b. Then the opposite will be equal to sine a times sine b. Noise! Can you notice where we are heading to? Now look at these three lines. Since both these lines are sides of the same rectangle, so they are parallel, and thus this angle will be equal to this angle, but this angle is equal to A plus B, and thus this angle will also be equal to A plus B. Now finally, focus on this right triangle. This side is adjacent to angle A plus B, and thus its length will be equal to cos of A plus B times hypotenuse, or one which is cos A plus B, and this side length will be equal to sine of A plus B. Okay, now here comes the climax. Since this is a rectangle, therefore both these side lengths will be equal to each other, right? This side length is equal to sine of A plus B, and it equals this side length, which is sine A, cos B plus cos A times sine B. Oh my God, this is the actual formula for the sine of A plus B, which we have proven using simple construction. Now these two side lengths will also be equal to each other. Therefore, this equals cos A plus B plus this. Take it here to get cos. A plus B equals cos. A cos B minus sine A times sine B. And that's it. My mind is super duper blown away right now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member so good.